Good morning. Happy Monday. Uh, you know, starting the week off dying. I just had my first speed workout, full run, of training. Didn't miss it. That's for sure. But this is the first full week of half Ironman training. Last week, well, because last week the first half was spent doing fitness tests. Anyways, this morning I have a speed workout run. I'll put the workout right here. But there were intervals. The hard part was the two minutes at 8.4 miles an hour. And then two minutes at six miles an hour and you did that four times. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this training on days that I have two workouts. For instance, I have the speed run. Which I'm just in the cool down right now. Actually finishing speed run, then the pool workout. I have a pool workout right after this, just a recovery pool workout. It's a lot of time in the mornings. I know some people like split them up, where like in the morning they may do the run, for instance, and then in the afternoon they might do the swim. Sometimes my schedule is hard around that. So, for instance, today I'm doing both workouts in the morning. I don't know, I'm just gonna take it day by day. But I will say, this training's already kicking my ass more than the training I did for the first half Ironman I did. I mean, I did pick the advanced training plan, but definitely more, way more challenging than, than the beginner. Anyways, I'm gonna go get this swim taken care of, officially done with the run, and get to go to work. Oh man, good morning. I have a late start today, but it's okay. It's Tuesday, I got my coffee. We actually have a really nice day outside today, which is good, but last night I went to the Giants-Packers game, the Monday night football game. So I didn't get home till closer to midnight. Luckily, I don't have any showings this morning, so I allowed myself some time to recover a little bit. And I have to hop on the bike, gotta get back in that saddle, you know. I have my first speed bike workout. Let me actually look exactly at what it is on my handy dandy iPad. So today I have going to Training Peaks, speed bike workout. It's 52 minutes. I'll put it up right here. 52 minutes, 10 minutes in zone two. But it says, so 10 minutes at between 112 to 150 watts. And then I go to the main set, four minutes at 182 to 210. And then four minutes at 112 to 150. Um, and I repeat that four times. So these are the kind of workouts that I think I really need to honestly honestly focus on in order to really improve in the bike. These are gonna be the most important. That's gonna help me obviously build that FTP a lot higher. Again, I was at what, 186 when I did my test. So my goal is, you know, for the next time I test, I wanna get it above 200. I don't know if that's, maybe that's too big of a jump. If you know a lot about cycling, let me know if that's too much of a jump and maybe I shouldn't be setting my expectations that high, but fuck it. That game was so good last night though. Giants won with a last second field goal. It was so freaking cold though. I don't know how people go to NFL games and just sit there when it's like below 30 degrees and snowing or honestly, even when it's raining. I, I love football, but I don't know if I care about it that much to sit and be miserable the whole time. All right, well, I'm gonna drink a little bit more of this coffee. Co coffee, coffee. Coffee, as they say here in New York. What, what accent was it? That wasn't even a New York accent. I'm gonna finish this, hop on the bike, do the speed bike workout, and you know, just try to have fun along the way. Alrighty, just hopped on the bike, getting this workout started. I am 15 seconds in, so I've accomplished a lot so far. No, but I just wanted to show how great, honestly, Swift is. 
this isn't like a sponsor or anything. I mean, I would love to be sponsored by Swift, but obviously I'm not. <laughs> but, oh, let me pick it up. But what's great about it is like when you're doing a workout like this, when you need to, um, you know, you're switching, you're doing a lot of intervals or you're having to change like your pace a lot. Um, what's great is you can see up here on the top left, it has what the next step in the workout is. So you're not having to look at your watch or your phone or anything like that, which is something I like a lot. It just makes following the workout so much easier. It's connected to Training Peak, so each day, whatever your workout is, it'll connect over. It's pretty awesome. Last year, I didn't have this for my first one, so I would just literally use the bike at the gym, which you can do, and I would look at my phone and just keep track of, you know, what the next step was based on how long I've gone. And it honestly, it was just a pain in the ass. This makes life so much easier. And of course, it's not cheap to get Zwift and have the membership. But honestly, nothing in this fucking sport is cheap. Uh, I mean, I wish it was. But primarily cycling. Cycling is the most expensive part. And you just can't get around it. You don't want to like go cheap on it either. You want to make sure you get the right stuff. I have, it says about seven minutes and 40 seconds left in this warm up. And then I go into the interval work. I'm not gonna film it, just wanna focus on the workout. And I'll check back in afterwards. Woo! Man, that is a leg burner. So I'm proud of myself. I hit all the watts I needed to hit. I'm beat. Those four minute intervals are a killer. Those are the kind of workouts I need to have though, if I wanna improve. I definitely felt like it was super challenging, but I hit all the watts and that's obviously when I feel accomplished is when I'm really struggling to hit it, but I get it done anyways. That's when I feel like I'm making progress and progress is happiness. So I'm happy, happy with that one. I'm just in a five minute cool down now. I turned my fan on this time, but it wasn't fully blowing on me. It's funny, it was like blowing more so on my right side. So if you look at the ground, literally there's a sweat puddle on the left side but not on the right side. I don't know if you can see that, that's the left side. This is the right side. I tried. Maybe next time I'll, I'll get the fan to cover my full body. Done with that one. First speed bike workout done of, of training. Now I'm gonna get ready for the day. I might go shoot a listing video for one of our listings today. It's nice and sunny outside. If you guys are interested in, you know, New York City real estate at all, I just started another channel, just so I'm not posting all over, but my team and I, we sell a lot up and down the Upper East Side and Upper West Side, and some of them are gorgeous apartments, so I wanna start showing them more. The other channel is Ashton Tours. I have it linked on this channel. I'll also link it up here, up there, wherever it goes. But go check it out if you're interested in real estate, and if you're not interested in real estate, don't worry about it. Don't worry, this channel is just gonna be training. Anyways. See you guys tomorrow. Man, I will tell you what. There is nothing better than getting outside for a run after you've been running inside. I've been running inside for the past week and a half or so. Went the first one outside. Oh, and it feels amazing. Didn't at first. It was 31 degrees out. About layered up. Probably actually dressed a little too warm. Today I have a one hour aerobic endurance run. So the goal is to stay in zone two the whole time, which means I should be running at a talking pace. So this is good. But these sometimes these runs, even though they're a little easier in my opinion, they're tough at the same time because part of you like wants to run a little bit faster. Like I feel like I have more gas. Not I feel like I have more gas in the tank, not gas, like passing gas, which that might come to. Just gotta trust the process, keep it slow. But it is tough when, for instance, a minute ago, a 10 year old ran past me. I'm like, what the hell, first off? Where's your parents? You know? Second off, the kid was getting it. 
lucky to be out here when it's 31 degrees. Respect. New York kids are different. I didn't grow up here, but I see them here all the time. I run the, run the subway by themselves. My mom wouldn't let me leave the neighborhood when I was that age. Anyways, gonna finish this run. It's a beautiful day out. I'll check back in after. All right, just finished the run. I'm just sitting on a rock, just relaxing for a minute. That was a hell of a run, honestly. It felt great. This morning when I woke up though, I was like, I don't wanna go outside and run. It's like 31 degrees, but I knew that once I got out here, I'd probably like it. You know, we I feel like we build things up in our head to be so much worse than they actually end up being. That's what I definitely did for this run. And then it ended up being one hell of a run, honestly. It wasn't anything crazy. I did, it's an hour long, six miles, 6.29 miles. Average pace was 9.33, which was a little bit faster than I was supposed to be going, but it's hard sometimes. Especially when it's cold out, because your body just feels all right, so you feel like you can push a little bit more. But yeah, that was great. Today's Thursday, by the way, which I'm sure you saw what day it was before the run started. I actually, I moved, today was supposed to be my off day. However, I didn't do the workout yesterday, so I moved them to today. So technically yesterday was my off day for the week because Tuesday night we had our holiday party at work, which uh, it was all the offices combined. So needless to say, I didn't feel that great yesterday. So luckily I can move things around a little bit. This morning I had this run and then this afternoon I'm gonna do the swim. I know earlier in the video I had talked about trying to see what it would be like to maybe split up the workouts. Today's one of those days where I have a run and a swim. So instead of doing them back to back like I did last time, I'm, I'm gonna do the run, well I did the run this morning. And then I'm gonna try to do the swim this afternoon and just see how I like that. Maybe I'll do that moving forward. But again, it really will kind of come down to the day itself. But anyways, look at the skyline. It, it never gets old. I'm gonna go home, gotta eat something. Go to work and uh, I'll check back in on the swim, I guess. Yeah. God, I feel great, honestly. All right, I just finished the swim. Did a little over 2,100 yards. Overall, I felt it was a pretty good swim. And it's great because I actually met a personal trainer there that does swim lessons. So I talked to him for a bit. I'm going to do one with him soon because I just want to make sure I'm doing things right. So here's the verdict on me splitting up my workouts. It was nice because there was a pretty big break in between. However, I just don't like having to think about working out all day long, about having to go to the gym and do something, especially like an endurance workout. After the workday, I'm much better in the mornings. Like it was harder for me to want to come to the gym to do this workout this evening than it would have normally been in the morning. But it's just because I'm a morning person overall. So I'm not sure if I'll really do that often. I mean, I felt good during the workout, but just mentally getting there was tough. And I'm making an executive decision right now, so don't hate me. But I'm supposed to have a swim workout in the morning. I'm not doing it. I'm, I just I don't want to do the pool workout tomorrow morning. Just because I had such a long one tonight, it's supposed to be another long one tomorrow. So I'm gonna switch it out for the gym instead, like a weight workout. So no pool workout tomorrow after all, but I'm gonna do a different kind of pool workout if you know what I mean. Not P-O-O-L, but P-U-L-L. -L. See what I did there? No, stupid. Anyways, so I'm gonna do that instead. I have to make sure I keep doing weights. I haven't done a weight workout this week, so it'll be good for me. Proud of this swim though, I kept my average below two minutes per 100 yards, I think. Progress. And progress is happiness. How many times do I have to say it? I'm just, it's really just me beating it into my own head at this, time, at this point. All right, good morning. It is Friday. I'm at the gym. I'm halfway through the workout. Even though I didn't film it, just trust me. No, I'll put up the workout right here, but 
I'm doing a back workout or a pull workout today because even though I'm not doing that swim this morning, I still wanted to target muscles that I would be using in a swim. For instance, my traps, my lats, my lower back. And so that's what I'm focused on today. But I am on the lat pull downs right now. So I've already done single arm dumbbell rows. I've done the low row machine, the high row machine, and the single arm lap pull downs. I only have three sets on this with six reps each, so we're going a little heavier. And then on the last set, even though technically it's supposed to be only six reps, the goal is to go until failure. Just to really push it out. Here's the first set. I'm not gonna film the whole workout just because this video would get like three hours long. Just kidding, it's only like a 45 minute workout if that. I'm just curious, if you're training for a triathlon, how many times a week do you do weight training? I'm still trying to figure out like what my rhythm's gonna be with that because I can't just skip it all together. So I don't know if maybe I should do it two times a week, three times a week. The problem is, is I'm gonna have to do it in the afternoon. And we all know how I am in the afternoon when it comes to workouts. Last set, let's go a little heavier. And we'll go into a failure. supposed to be a barbell shrug but I'm changing it out for plates it's my favorite way to do shrugs honestly I'll be honest god I feel so awkward filming at the gym I just feel like it's illegal for some reason but so many people do it I think I just get in my head about it all right I have this, doing a superset, and then finishing up here. I'm not gonna film anything else. I'm just gonna finish the workout. But yeah, overall, I'd say it was successful. It always feels good to get some weights in when you haven't done them in a while. Anyways, I'll check back in tomorrow. Here's the finished workout when I finish. We have tomorrow we got the long bike ride and then Sunday second brick workout of training. So let's finish the week strong. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Just uh, another morning when I'm really tired. What can I do about it though? That's why I'm drinking my coffee. Last night we had the New York Rangers hockey game. Um, they were playing the Anaheim Ducks. Let's go! I promise this is not a normal thing of me going to games. It's just been one of those weeks, which it's actually been a really cool week. This has never happened to me before where I've gone to an NFL game and also an NHL game in the same week. But I'm not complaining. So, I mean, I'm just a sports guy, what can I say? This morning we have a two hour, 15 minute bike ride. With that being said, I had to get up early. Look, I can't do these rides at like eight, nine a.m. or even later, because then that runs me into like almost the middle of the day. And unfortunately, I can't just do that during the middle of the day. I have a girlfriend. And if I were to do that all the time, she'd be like, what the hell are you doing? I want to hang out, but you're over here just sitting on your bike all fucking day. So we got to get up early 
and get it done before she wakes up. So it's 6, 6.42 right now. Making my drink. So what I like to use, I have a lot of BPN stuff over here if you can't tell. But I like to use G1M Sport. It's important like obviously while you're doing these endurance rides to make sure you're getting enough carbs in your body. So this for instance has 20 grams of carbs per scoop. I know there's some out there that have even more, but personally this is just what I like to use. But yeah, it's got 20 grams. So what I'll do is I'll put one scoop in and then a half of a scoop. So it gives me about 30 grams of carbs per bottle. And so I'll have this as well as one of their BPN Go Gels every hour. So that gives me about, because this will have 30 grams of carbs, this has 24 grams of carbs. So that's what, 54 grams of carbs? It's quick math, early morning Saturday. So yeah, I'll try to have around that per hour. So this is about 54 grams of carbs. Generally, you want to see between, at least from what I've read, look, I'm, again, I'm not a pro at all of this, but you want to have between 50 to 60, even up to like 90 or more per hour. Me personally, I am more on the lower scale right now because you don't want to just jump into taking in 100 grams of carbs per hour while you're working out. I don't know how that would be on your gut. This is what I've been working with. And again, I mean, everyone is different, so everyone is going to have, you just have to do what feels best for you when you're working out. And right now, this is what feels best to me. And it's going to be different based on how much your, what your body weight is, so on and so forth. Where's the cat? I think I mentioned this in my last video or two. I use, I've been using BPN. I used them all throughout training for my first half Ironman, and obviously I'm using them for this half Ironman. But if you guys are interested in any of their products, um, and even if you just wanna try it out, I have a discount code in the description, and you can, um, it's Ashton10 at checkout, but you can also click on the link that I have down there, um, and you can go to their website and get something. It should apply to 10% already, but yeah, definitely check it out. I love their products. A little bit more of this and we'll get started. First off, I just want to go on record that I have a fan right here. Just so everyone knows, I do have a fan. Now the goal is to make sure it's actually pointing towards me this time. Let's see. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. I think we might be it's just hard because I have this Christmas tree right here in front of me or else I, I would put my fan right there. But obviously, it's the holiday season. Hooking up Zwift, gonna put my shoes on. By the way, speaking of the holiday season, you see those? That's Santa with a beer. We're feeling festive this morning. Where's my phone? I'm over here looking for my phone and then I realize I'm filming with it. Get on up in the saddle. I don't know why I think it's okay to sing this morning. Maybe I should try out for a Broadway show. So one thing that I am actually gonna do today while I'm riding is watch a movie because these long rides are going to start getting a little boring, I would say, if I don't start watching something. So this morning, I'm gonna watch the greatest beer run ever. I've heard it's all right. It's two hours and six minutes, which is lines up perfectly with the time I'm gonna be on this bike. But if you have any good TV shows or movies to watch while you're cycling, <laughs> please drop them in the comments. I saw some good things about Fargo. I haven't seen that yet, so maybe I'll try that next but I'm just gonna watch this movie today. So by the end of this ride, I'll let you know if it's worth watching or not. It has Zac Efron, Russell Crowe, I think Bill Murray's in it as well. So 
decent cast. We'll see how it goes though. All right, so for this ride today, it's gonna be mainly in zone two. So we're gonna stay probably around 132 watts. Now there might be times when I'm feeling a little spicy, I wanna go a little bit more, but I'm really gonna to try to hold myself back. And we are officially underway. It is 7-11 getting started, so that means I'll be done by 7-11, 8-11, 9-11. That's 15, 9, 27. All right, well we are underway. Let's get this movie started and I will check back in at the one hour mark. A little over an hour in, I have gone 19.8 miles, 19.9. Let's see what my average watts are. Average watts are 137. They're higher than the 130, but I'd rather be riding higher than lower, so. This movie has actually been pretty decent so far. It's actually weirdly based on a true story. Zac Efron, who's the main character, lives in New York, but a lot of his friends were shipped over to Vietnam for the Vietnam War, and so his way <laughs> of supporting them is delivering them beer and surprising them during the war. It's kind of silly, but the fact that it's a true story makes it a little better. It's a war movie, so I got my camo kit on. We cruise in, hour and nine minutes left. Nice day outside. Ooh, this windows are dirty. I'm about to take my gel and finish this thing strong. All right, just finished. Two hours and 15 minutes. Let's see, 38.4 miles. My average power was 139. It's supposed to be 130, but that's all right. Again, I'd rather it be a little stronger. Man, that ride definitely went by faster than last week's since I had a movie to watch. <sighs> yeah, that movie ended up being pretty good. I'd give it a six out of 10 or so. Um, I'm a little biased towards war slash history movies though. It's one of my favorite genres. Oh my God. So loud. Successful ride though. I felt pretty good. Oh, the ass doesn't though. One more to go this week. I say it's been a pretty good first full week of training. But let's not talk too soon before the brick tomorrow. Let's go. All right, happy Sunday. My legs are feeling it today, they're heavy. I had the bike ride this morning, it's Sunday, so it's brick workout day. Got an hour and 20 minutes on the bike this morning, and now I'm on the 30 minute easy run off the bike. I weirdly love the way I feel when I'm running after a bike ride. Legs are definitely heavy today. Whew. Feels so nice out like I think 49 degrees it's very refreshing after being on the bike all right I just finished the run 3.46 miles I think you hear that stream by the way yes I'm in the middle of Central Park and there's a stream it's pretty crazy what you can find here but the run felt pretty good. I didn't feel much of the bike workout this morning, primarily because I honestly just didn't even feel like getting on the bike when I woke up. So the thought of also filming it wasn't that appealing either. So I did not. You know, sometimes though, that's what's great about this training is it really like forces you to do things that you don't want to do at times, such as getting on the bike this morning. But I got up and got it done anyways and what's great is you know that kind of discipline rolls over into other areas of life but i'm not gonna get on my soapbox right now would you ever guess that i'm literally in the middle of manhattan right now Ooh, i'm not gonna show you guys that literally a dead possum and its teeth are hanging out it's disgusting i will put up a full week's training plan up on the screen overall it was a good week first full week of training is done there's definitely times where I was exhausted and didn't feel like doing it, but we got it done. Obviously I missed that swim on Thursday. I substituted it for the weight workout that I did. Um, however, next time I just gotta remember that, you know, if I have 
Really what messed it up this week, if we're being honest, is the fact that I missed the workouts on Wednesday, so I moved the rest day around. So it really put those long swims back to back, which I obviously ended up not doing one of them. So <laughs> I'll make sure not to do that again. But overall, good week. I just want to say thank you to you guys for following along this far in this video if you are still watching. And I just hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube this week as well, which is super exciting. And you know, who knows where it's gonna go from here. But again, the whole purpose of all this is to build a community which is something that I'm super excited about. I love, you know, meeting and sharing ideas and talking with other people who are like-minded and, you know, want to accomplish and push themselves on a daily basis, which is something that training for something like this will do. Keep throwing comments in the section and that's not even a saying. Keep putting comments on the video. I will try to respond to almost everyone as much as I can. Anyways, thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe again. These videos are gonna be every Sunday and I'm gonna be consistent with this. It's just another discipline uh, that I am building along with training for all this. So thanks again and I'll see you guys next week.